Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we're going to cover 100 inbound marketing content ideas. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Mishlu Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return, I personally use and highly recommend the services of Jeffrey Ressler CPA, whose phone number is 561 237 5264. That is 561 237 Five two six four. Thank you very much. And remember, you can always look to the audio video description of this post for names, phone numbers, and links and references made during this program. Or you can get them by visiting cdecker.com, chaddecker.com, or ezinegenerator.com anytime as well. Broadcasting from the Great North Woods Lake region of Southern Maine. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to our Internet Marketing Pro and EasyGenerator.com podcast show. Our shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and preeminent professional Internet marketers. Thank you for tuning in to our show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a few quick announcements before we get started. Like I always begin my shows, I really like to show my personal appreciation for all the feedback that we've been getting from you. What a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that we can explore together. We are always excited about helping us get more uh, subscribers and by subscribing yourself on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Smart Radio, and many other syndicates. If you like our show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to our show. Be sure to visit ezinegenerator.com and become a free member of our highly resourceful total online marketing presence community. You will gain instant exclusive access and insight to over thousands of over-the-shoulder training videos, articles, RSS feeds, to over 500 resource websites relating to topics like analytics, content, email marketing, mobile marketing, search engine optimization and management, social network marketing and management, traffic, articles, white papers, <laughs> podcast interviews of preeminent leaders, current events, and much, much more. Whew, that's a lot. But finally, be sure to review our past archive shows on iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, YouTube, and Zoom because we have plenty of topics and information that are totally free to you and to others and for you to share for all those who are aggregating content out there on the Internet and on your social networks. Now, let's get down to business. All right, in today's show, we're going to cover uh, uh, 100 inbound marketing content ideas. And in last week's show, uh, which you can access by going into the archives of uh, our show, uh, you know, through you know iTunes and YouTube and Zoom and uh, Stitcher Smart Radio, uh, you can access the first part. But it's not totally necessary, and hopefully, I can become your muse in this uh, particular segment. And uh, uh, cover 20 more of the 100 uh, that uh, there are. And I'm going to recap the uh, my intro and then move into uh, you know 21 through 40 as far as what's on the list of content creation ideas. And so, you know, content creation is the core of an inbound marketer's job. From tweets to blog posts to Facebook page wall posts, there is a lot of copy, messaging, and engagement to push out to your audience. This is why the inbound marketer's role is one that requires so much creativity. Content has to be timely and accurate, relevant and thoughtful, unpredictable, informative, and even funny. The same old content day in and day out can get stale and, and you know, it'll lose your community's engagement. So you know, make sure that you make it fresh and use those uh, insightful ideas of making it timely, accurate, relevant, thoughtful, unpredictable, formative, and even funny, okay? The question is, where do you come up with, with these fresh ideas and ways to accomplish that seven days a week? And what do you do when you just jump started on the social presence scene on Twitter or Pinterest or Facebook or whatever it might be? And what should your company be blogging about? That's a 
the really toughest questions is where do I start? Well, that's what I hope to inspire you through this program is where you are. Here's some ideas of where you can start. And, you know, this list of ideas is, you know, like I said, meant to inspire the content that you create for your community. And, of course, it's broad and generic in focus, and it's not meant to focus too strictly on the technology that helps you carry out these ideas, but offer something for everyone and be more broad. And it's up to you, obviously, in your subject matter to determine what would be the greatest subject matter or idea from the ideas that I give you. I'm just to start your, I'm just a means and you're the end of the means. And I hope that this brainstorming session will help you think of some fresh ideas on your own. So let's go ahead and start with idea number 21. Collect tweets from a webinar or conference hashtag, show them off with Storify, and offer your own takeaways in the blog post. Number 22. Respond to industry research with your own perspective. Offer a fresh angle to spark conversation. Number 23. Do a survey with SurveyMonkey among your community members and create an infographic based on the results. Number 24. Do a poll of your Twitter community with TWT poll or your Facebook community with a Facebook question and then post the results on your blog. Number 25, do an in-depth case study about one company or offer a few examples of how other companies do something very successful. So as you can see, research, providing research is a great way to create content that is engaging and interesting. And now the next subject matter of the type of content is thought leadership. So we're going to go over about probably 10 of these that uh, work really well for different content ideas. And number 26 is record an interview with an expert in your field and post it to your blog. I do that all the time. Number 27, get experts to offer a tip and do a roundup of their recommendations. That works really well. I have a, uh, an associate friend of mine, uh, John Lee Dumas of uh, Entrepreneur on Fire, and he's really good at getting experts to offer tips and do a roundup of their ex um, recommendations. And he's actually got just an entire podcast series on iTunes. It's sort of like entrepreneuronfire.com's greatest hits, and uh, it's wildly successful and a top-rated, uh, even though he's not adding too much content unless he gets a real superstar uh uh, interview uh, or um, a tip, uh, it's uh, very well listened to. Number 28, feature guest posts from industry experts. Number 29, publish responses to frequently asked questions about your industry. Number 30, create a list of trends to watch. Number 31, compare and contrast different products, different approaches, different companies, different people, and different places etc. Number 32, do a review of other non-competitive products or services that your community cares about. Number 33, be a journalist. Be the first in your space to offer industry takeaways about breaking news. Number 34, explain what current event or topic in the news means for your industry or community. Here's an example. Of course, it's going to have blankety blank blank blank, and I'm not cursing here. I'm just basically, uh, it's an ad lib. It's an example that says, quote, what blank means for blank, why blank matters for blank. Let me repeat that. What blank means for blank. So it could be what this new technology means for affiliate marketing, or what or why why Yahoo changing the way you receive your email matters for the email marketing community. Okay. <laughs> Number 35, debunk common myths. Sometimes you need to straighten out the misinformation or wannabes out there. Okay, moving on. Now the next subject matter uh, about uh, the type of content ideas is, uh, you know, we had just covered doing uh, thought leadership. Now we're going to do make it about your community type of content. 
And number 36 is interview your favorite customer. Number 37 is post a Flickr slideshow of pictures from a recent event. Number 37. Oh, I'm sorry, 38. Run a contest and give away something relevant to your community. Number 39, I'm getting thrown off because this is numbered wrong. Ask for guest posts from community members. And uh, number, let's just say 39 because we messed this whole thing's messed up. So excuse me for this. <laughs> if you have a company news to share, talk about it in a way that makes it about the reader. Example, if someone gets promoted, talk about how they were successful and inspire your audience to be so themselves if they can and what they do. And the next one, because we messed up the numbering, publish a post relevant to the current season or holiday. And finally, as far as making it about your community, is outline the top practical use cases for your product and service. So that's a good idea, planting a seed saying, well, if you didn't know or you couldn't put two plus, one plus one equals two together, let me do it for you and give you the big aha moment uh, as far as uh, the top practical use of how to use uh, my particular product or service and the benefits of it. So, all right, well, that covers 20 new content ideas in our second part of the five-part series. I hope to uh, get you to come on uh, for our third part. And in the third part, let me give you a little idea of what to look forward to as far as uh, content ideas. This is, uh, we're going to talk about Twitter content ideas and responding to followers. And we're also going to talk about some Twitter tools that you can use for content um, and then we will probably talk about, you know, ideas as far as creating content on sharing your content, which kind of a, a double speak there. But anyway, thank you for tuning in the show and please remember to subscribe and also to share this information on your social network.